This chapter gives an overview of pavement types, layers, and their functions. History of Road Surface The old roads were unsurfaced earthen roads, or cart track roads. Eventually, the earthen road were improved with natural soil from borrow pits with attention to drainage. As the traffic increased, roads were constructed with dry aggregate and sand clays mix, in which the former act as wear resistant and the latter as natural binder. In water bound macadam, the constituents like rubble, fillers, and screeners are mixed together at site, then sprinkled with water and compacted to improve the strength of pavement and to get hard strata. As traffic and loads increased, the pavements needed should be able to provide a surface of acceptable riding quality, adequate skid resistance, favorable light reflecting characteristics, and low noise pollution. The sketch shows typical layers of a flexible and a rigid pavement. Usually, the base and sub-base courses are same. Depending upon requirements, usage of roads, wear and tear conditions, and choice between flexible or rigid pavement is picked. The table lists typical components for each course, layers of the pavement. Each component has a specific function. The thickness and type of material to be used depends upon the requirements of the road for which it is designed. After completion of excavation, the layer of soil should be compacted adequately, and special arrangements shall be made to improve the properties of soil. Sub-base course. The entire road rests on this. This layer must be able to resist loads, weather, and subsurface water. In good soil conditions, soil can be the sub-base. In recent years, sand or GSB is used. GSB stands for granular subbase. It is made up using granular material, usually natural sand, crushed gravel, crushed stone or combination of all. The material should meet gradation properties as per Morth Table 400 specifications. It should be laid in layers not exceeding 150 mm. Base course is the structural layer of the road. It is made up of crushed or broken aggregates, filled with screening materials, which is mechanically interlocked. Voids are filled with screening and binding material with the assistance of water. Stability of the road depends upon thickness of this course. WBM Waterbound Macadam The pavement base course made of crushed or broken aggregates. First spread and then the voids are filled with screening material. Finally, compactions is performed followed by addition of binding material with the assistance of water. Each component, metal, screener, binder, and water, is laid in a faced manner directly on site. WMM Wet Mix Macadam is a newer mix, in which aggregate and binding materials are pre-mixed in a batching plant or concrete mixing machine, and then brought to site for overlaying and rolling. There are two types of pavements, namely flexible and rigid. Flexible pavements are made from bitumen and rigid pavements are made from concrete. Flexible pavement, commonly called bitumen road, is a pavement layer comprising of a mixture of aggregates and bitumen heated and mixed properly and then laid and compacted on a bed of granular layer. The load is transferred to lower layers through points of contacts of granular material. Load is distributed on a wider area. Bitumen road is constructed in multiple layers. The binder course is an intermediate course which joins the surface layer and the base layer. The surface course, also called the top layer, has elastic properties, is impervious, and takes all wear and tear of the traffic. Prime coat is a coating applied directly to a prepared base course. It acts as an initial sealer in the asphalt laying process to block the other layers from moisture, dust, and debris. It bonds the base course to the binder course. Binder course is an intermediate course between the base course and the surfacing material consists of intermediate size crusted stones bound by bituminous material. It helps load distribution to the base course. 
tack coat a very light application of a binder to an existing surface to ensure bond between existing surface and new construction. The material is liquid, and so can be spread uniformly, and sets quickly. Surfacing course is the topmost layer of the road in contact with the traffic. Its purpose is to minimize abrasion of road and reduce the adverse effect of climate on the road. It should be made of superior quality. Seal coat is application of top layer with bitumen to seal the voids, followed with a cover of stone chips. It makes the surface watertight. Rigid pavements are roads made from concrete. In this type of road, the load is distributed by slab action. It assumes that the road is a thick plate, and will remain as it is, after bending due to loading, and temperature variation. The top layers is made up of reinforcement cement concrete. There is a plain cement concrete layers, which acts as a leveling course, for the RCC layer. Each layer of pavement has a multitude of functions to perform which has to be duly considered during the design process. Different types of pavements can be adopted depending upon the traffic requirements. Improper design of pavements leads to early failure of pavements, 